Ladies and gentlemen, now in today's video, we've got a bit of a gameplay showcase of the brand new version of Guillotine vs Labyrinth of Legends Magic and also War Machine. Also on today's video, if we can smash out 1000 likes again, tomorrow we're going to release the X23 and also Venom gameplay from Guillotine 2099. And those two fights are sick, man. They went really, really well. Uh, but today's fights are quite interesting because I was very curious to see how the new Guillotine would fare against Magic because Magic is notorious notoriously like one of the worst fights especially when you're going for completion but you need to do this fight like a couple of times if you're going for like spider-man and also x23 as well so yeah she's just really really annoying because it's just a stacked version of magic with 1.5 million hit points so in that time for most characters there is a lot of limbo to deal with and guillotine she doesn't have like a great way to mitigate the limbo damage however with her special too if you're playing very aggressively uh, you can apply the heal reversal that lasts 12 seconds and you can reverse some of that limbo damage so it allows you to play the fight a little bit more aggressively in some scenarios and also prevents her from getting that regeneration but so far we haven't had the best start because she's already evaded one of my special twos and consumed an evade charge there and i think it's uh, kind of around here i mess up and like lose my other evade charges as well so that's coming very very soon uh, but we're trying to play very very aggressively here going for a five combo get the special two we can punish that limbo and then go straight back in and just keep on punishing that limbo trying to get the most we can out of the heal reversal and especially with the degeneration that can synergize with the despair mastery to make that healing reversal even more effective but you know we're not on the best track so far because she's only lost like 24 percent health uh, and we're already down like half our health there granted we do have a couple of ways to regenerate off the mediums uh, and also i've saved one charge so i didn't activate the crit pre-fight ability to get like a bit of regeneration when we hit 15 percent but you can see man that limbo is an absolute killer it's just nuking me down here uh but yeah we're kind of we're kind of doing okay man we're kind of doing okay here yeah, unfortunately we didn't have the special two active so she got a fair bit of regeneration from that limbo uh we still have the buffer of the digi soul healing which is going to kick in fairly shortly as well but we're kind of getting to that point in the fight where our damage is starting to get really really good you can see every single hit is dealing about six thousand additional direct damage as well uh so yeah this is the point where i'm trying to like get into as much damage as i possibly can because not having a way to kind of mitigate all this damage is eventually going to kill us um, but still this is a really impressive run so far like any champion that can take like 50% off labyrinth of legends magic in a single try is a pretty good character damage dealing wise uh, obviously characters like Aegon and blade for the ability accuracy reduction are really really good here but still in comparison to your average labyrinth option this is a really really good try uh, so i'm trying to punish in another special two i probably should have gone for the special two to like after that previous combo to like reverse that limbo might have been a little bit better there got even more damage output but we go for a five combo there kind of dash back look for another opportunity to go in go for another combo straight into a special two and manage to get her down to 17 percent so for a single try to get magic down 83 percent which is uh, just over like 1.3 million hit points in 159 hits that's still a great try against labyrinth of legends magic and also we did have a 20% health booster active, but we didn't have the 30% attack and health boost active or the 20% attack boost active. So if we had those active, it probably would have been a one shot there. So, you know, if this is like a proper try hard, like first Labyrinth of Legends run and theoretically like in six months time, like Gear Team was my first six star champion, uh, that probably would have been a one shot, man. So we could have played a little bit better in some scenarios, but overall, man, really, really decent there. The next fight we're going into, I haven't activated any of the pre-fight abilities just so that we have two digi souls this means if we go to 15 percent we get approximately a 40 percent regeneration uh so yeah it's going to come in really really handy because although this looks like a pretty safe matchup at the moment like a couple of chain limbos a magic has you dead in labyrinth of legends the limbo damage can be really really nasty as you can see here that was like uh, almost 900 damage per tick it is a lot of uh, a lot of limbo damage straight down to 17 percent there the regeneration kicks in it's kind of battling with the limbo at the moment uh but yeah we managed to survive that and get up to 40 percent there which was a really really good time so just going in for a cheeky little five combo there uh, another five combo i wanted to get magic as close as i possibly could to two percent uh just at the end of this five combo before smashing out the special three because that's uh, just about the range that she has so even the special three was a little bit of a gamble to get her down but as long as we defeat magic with a special three it allows us to start the next fight war machine with 100 hits on 
our combo meter. So yeah, overall, man, that actually was not bad as far as like magic champions go. So yeah, I think she's going to be a really, really solid option for people to get this character as their first five star champion or six star champion to do like an initial clear in Labyrinth of Legends. And just as a note, the only really two bad matchups you have when doing Labyrinth for this champion are Ant-Man and also Maestro because Maestro with tech champions, he activates all sorts of crazy random buffs like really big regeneration uh, and also power flood as well. So, you know, all this crazy stuff is happening and you just eventually die in that matchup. So, you know, it's a, it's a bit of a tough one. I guess with Guillotine 2099, you can punish the regeneration maybe for a certain amount of time, but eventually, you know, because you don't have 100% uptime on it, I don't think it's going to be like a full and effective counter to Maestro. Anyway, moving into our next matchup today, we do have the Labyrinth of Legends War Machine. Now, this fight is just notoriously annoying because uh, it's very difficult to punish a lot of War Machine's special attacks with a special one, special two. There's not really like a clear timing to like dash out and then dash back in. I think with the special one, sometimes if you kind of avoid like the last part of it, you can. Uh, but I didn't know how to do that on my first Labyrinth of Legends run. So I remember just getting absolutely wrecked by Labyrinth War Machine. And still, I think he's a much more tricky fight in comparison to other characters if you are doing your initial completion uh, just because of his special attacks, man. They're really, really annoying. And also when this champion gets to his first enraged timer, that's going to significantly increase his attack. So from the special one, you take like a lot of block damage as well. However, if you can kill him before the first enraged timer, man, you know, that's uh, a pretty good time. Definitely what you're looking out for. We've been a, a little bit, uh, a little bit fancy, a little bit risky with some of the intercepts here, but because we got the, uh, the Nick Fury synergy and also two stacks of combo shield, I felt like it was a little bit safer to be a bit more risky and kind of push this champion a little bit further. Here, I was a bit worried that I had accidentally pushed into a special three, but we avoid another two, get an intercept in there, which is a really good time. And you can see our damage is really starting to ramp up now. Like every single hit is dealing just over 5,000 direct damage. And that quickly stacks up and up and up into some very, very lethal damage. So we dodge another special two here, just trying to kind of bait out those heavy attacks and kind of get those parries and push this man to the special two wherever possible. And that's kind of the, the big goal of the War Machine fighting Labyrinth of Legends is just rinse those special twos because you can fully dodge those and they're much easier uh, to deal with than like two special ones in comparison. So we blocked out hits, bait out heavy there, I retaliate with a five combo. And for this fight, I've got the pre-fight ability where we regenerate 5% of the damage dealt on medium attacks. So that is giving us a form of sustainable regeneration, uh, which is covering the cost of the recall damage from the suicide masteries. Uh, and also like just uh, giving us a bit of a net gain overall. So it's working out really, really well. But you could get like a lot more regeneration off the medium attacks if you were using uh, like a 20%, 30% boost. Uh, so yeah, there is a lot more regeneration potential here. But as far as like the health on Guillotine is going, especially factoring in um, the fact that we have suicide masteries and we are taking 5% of our health every time we do use a special two, uh, we're doing so, so well for health on this fight, man. I think this is one of the, uh, the cleanest War Machine takedowns I've ever seen. Uh, so yeah, it was going tremendously well at this point. I was chuffed over the moon, boys, just trying to bait out those heavy attacks, keep on going for the special twos. But also, I think I've been uh, quite fortunate in terms of baiting out the special twos in this matchup, man. It's been going really, really well. So we dash back, get a combo there, bait out a heavy attack, go for another combo. It was at 3%, and we have 188 hits on our combo meter. So I was fairly confident that we'd be able to finish him off with the special three. So we fire that one off, siphon the soul back, ready for the Ant-Man fight. And there we go. That was honestly one of the best times I've ever had against Labyrinth of Legends War Machine. And honestly, doing my first run, I had such a bad time with my five-star rank four star lord against that fight. So yeah, I never thought it would just be that enjoyable and easy, man. So that was really, really good. Uh, but just a bit of a sneak peek at the Ant-Man fight. This fight absolutely sucks. If you've done Labyrinth of Legends, like Ant-Man is just one of the most tedious and boring fights because it goes on for so, so long. And also whenever he glances, you can't proc like any abilities. So whenever he glances, like we can't use our additional direct damage ability from ramping up the combo meter. And once you get past that first enrage timer, um, then yeah, he's just glancing like 99% of attacks and it is so, so annoying. So Ant-Man is, uh, you know, he's not a difficult fight. He's never been a difficult fight. He's just a really, really long and a really, really tedious fight. Because as you can see here, we just did him rubbish damage, man, because without the degeneration um, and without the ability to deal that direct damage. Gilly 2099 is just so 
heavily gimp so we can get a little bit more damage output off the special three but as you can see man we've got like 435 hits on the combo it's just a long fight anyway ladies and gentlemen hopefully you enjoyed the labyrinth gameplay today if we can smash out one thousand likes on today's video then tomorrow we will upload the x23 and venom kills and they are really really sick take care thank you very much for watching and i hope that you have an absolutely fantastic day